Hi everyone, it's me, Reese T. O'Leary, here with another Purple Flame podcast. And tonight I have a super special guest. I call her my little sister, Paulina Schumann, uh, also known on the stage as Paulina. How are you, Paulina, my love? I'm really good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fabulous. With the Christmas holiday season, I'm sure you've had the big experience as well. Yeah, it's been great. Christmas, you know, I mean, even though like I can say that we're really fortunate to be here in the situation where most of us here can celebrate with friends and family, but I had a great time. So, hey, it was- hey, can I just <laughs> clarify for everyone who's watching as well? I have a Zoom background on clearly, but Paulina, that's actually her bedroom. <laughs> that is not a Zoom background. She is. Uh, you know, it is, a, in fact, a, a gorgeous room. And, um, but it just looks so perfect. I must I say, in the background behind you, it looks fake. It actually looks <laughs> fake. Well, I'm super excited to have you here tonight, especially because you released something super special earlier tonight, didn't you? Yeah, my music video came out, which is super, super exciting. And yeah, it's been definitely been my favorite one so far. Um, but yeah, it was a music video for my third release day now, and it was wow. awesome. Yeah, it's been it's been cool, it's been a great journey. <laughs> and I feel really privileged because recently I was up in Queensland and I got to spend some time actually with you, watching you film this, um, and see bits and pieces of this come together. Um, so from uh, the from your aspect, because you're you're not only um for everyone who's watching. Yeah, um, let's tell them a bit more about you. And I know you better than ever anyone. And you're not actually just the singer, are you? What else are you doing in, in terms of the music? Yeah, so um, basically, so I do, I do singing and I also do play the guitar, which is right behind me. <laughs> and I'm currently learning to play piano and I do a bit of ukulele. And I actually picked up the saxophone when I was at school. So okay. that was awesome like the saxophone is something else and it's just so sick to play it the sound is just phenomenal so yeah it's pretty cool (laughs) that that is super cool and might I remind um our audience because of course I know you um but how old are you Paulina and uh, and you mentioned when you were at school aren't you still at school Yeah, so I'm 16 and I'm in, so this year I was in year 10 and so next year I'm coming into year 11. So two more years to go and then we're done. <laughs> I, I know, but I, I just want to bring that up for, for the audiences that are going to be watching this later because, uh, I mean, I think it's quite remarkable that at 16 years of age, um, you, you, you're doing quite a lot with yourself. So, um, and I can't wait for everyone to see the film clip. Just saying, I was trying so hard not to photobomb um, in certain moments. So <laughs> yeah, for that video, it just was hilarious of you being there. Honestly, we'll oh. never. Oh, isn't it? It's same. And, and for everyone watching as well, I actually did something super funny and kind of weird as I do. And I picked up a rock while I was there. And when we got back after the film clip, I was like, I got you a rock. And, and I put it next to Paulina's bed on her bedside table. Wait, no. Oh, look, it's the, it's the Stay Now Rock. <laughs> Literally, this is going to be with me till the end. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I'm so glad I picked up a random rock now. Um <laughs> So um, tell people, tell, you know, reignite our passion for Say Now um, as we watch it, you know, now with a a storyline with the video that you've just released. Tell us what it's all about. What is Say Now about? So Say Now is basically the song of kind of, it's a mix between, it's just like, you know, I'm not too sure, but I can imagine most of you guys and you, Reese, can understand that when you go through a breakup, all of the phases that come with that, so like whether it's the jealousy, the grieving of having lost someone um, and all of those like really like deep kind of crappy emotions that you really feel. Um, So even though I've never really been in a proper relationship, that's kind of what the song's about for me. But um, obviously coming from other like, um, you know, experiences in life and everything. But um, yeah, basically I really um, just love the idea of, 
I just love the song. Like it was on the song you, first, and um, yeah, it just means so much to me. And I'm pretty like hopeful that it, that a lot of people can resonate with um, the song. So yeah. <laughs> well, I de- I definitely agree with you. It is I, in my opinion, I've heard the song, and I think it it is transferable in terms of the meaning. Um, for different people and it really does translate so as a 16 year old not only just a a singer songwriter uh, but you know you could almost go into the category of lyricist almost so 16 it's a well that's what you're doing isn't it you're writing lyrics so um it's I'm I'm so excited and actually could I um could I trouble you to play us a little bit yes of course Yay. Okay, great. So uh, we're now going to watch uh, Paulina with her one of her new singles, uh, but also with a new film clip as of today. Uh, and she's going to be playing a bit of Say Now for us. Take it away. Yeah, hope you guys I've heard it a thousand times, but I still love hearing it. And even hearing you play it acoustically, it feels differently again. So I really do want to encourage everyone to go uh, tell us where is it available? So they can go to W, you've got your website there, www.paulina.com.au. I'll put it up here somewhere for us to see in the video. Um, but so that is that available as a single? Yeah, yeah. So you can um, you can find this on any platform, whether that's Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music, and all of the other ones. So it's everywhere. Um, but yeah, go stream it, go buy it if you want to. But honestly, no pressure. <laughs> I bought it. I bought it. So that everyone needs Love to go. You on that. Love you too. I stream it as well. So it it's it's a no pressure tribe. No pressure, but it's worth a listen. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for sharing um, a bit of saying now. And I, I mean, I know we've got a couple more coming up later on. And I know that you have been working on so many other um, avenues of music at the moment. Isn't that right? Tell us a bit more about what you've got on at the moment. <laughs> 16 yeah, yeah. year old musician <laughs> who. Yeah. So it's been a wild ride. Like, First off, like, I never really thought that I'd, like, release anything, like, ever. And then the fact that it happened this year three times already. So it's been honestly amazing. It's just, and just seeing everyone's support and yours, Reid. Love you. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just been honestly the best feeling ever. But, yeah, so basically um, I've got a few releases planned for next year, which I'm really excited about, all singles. Um, and so a few more remixes as well. So mm-hmm. I've got... Um, a remix coming out actually on the 9th of January, so not too long now. Um, and that's of my second release, Mind Games. And honestly, I'm like in love with this remix. Like it's going straight, like, ah, oh, I just am obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, it's by this really chill guy, um, Jeremy from U- from the USA. And we've been communicating back and forth and he's honestly such a good guy and he's amazing at what he does. So um, it was awesome to see mind games come to a whole different light and see it you know so differently it's it was awesome so I love that you you've already got a, this this wide repertoire of music under your belt and you're exploring all these avenues and I you just released a remix didn't you of an, uh, was it that song or another song yeah yeah it was of insane my first one so that was right. awesome so cool <laughs> And who, who who was that one with? And where can people find that one? Because that came out already a few days ago, didn't it? 
Exactly. So that was by Standing Rock from America. He's actually a Native American and it's so awesome because um, the remix was inspired by, because he lives in Utah in, in America as well. How you say Utah? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> For all of our American tribe, yeah. <laughs> Utah. Yeah, exactly. Utah. Sorry, guys. That's uh, we know that every o'clock. Oh my gosh, my computer. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys, <laughs> what we're talking about? As we, um, you know, we we all kind of mimic each other's uh, accents, especially us Aussies. So we get it. But that's our <laughs> our really p- poor interpretation. <laughs> terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible, Muriel. Yeah. But yeah, it's it was awesome with Standing Rock doing that because he he was inspired by all of his native like um his tribes and all the native That's sounds so in the cool. area. So I thought yeah, I thought it was just so beautiful. That so. is really beautiful. And once again, guys, all of the links for Paulina's music will be up and around and available. You'll see it somewhere around the screen. Make sure you go and stream mm-hmm. her, buy her music as well. You know, don't just stream their music. Support your artist directly. Yeah, we have to remind our community of that because, um, you know, otherwise sometimes the artist does miss out. So make sure you always buy your artist album and stream it as well. Um, And just saying, but a little bit of side promo, insert Chakra Ameliorate album here, um, which just came out yesterday. (laughs) Sorry to kill your thunder, girlfriend. Um, But... on that notion, I understand the importance of supporting artists directly. So make sure you go to www.paulina.com.au, get yourself copies um, of her music digitally and, and whack it on your phone and then stream it as well through all your favourite streaming platforms, which I will have up around <laughs> the screen somewhere here. <laughs> <laughs> So literally your album blew, blew me away. It was amazing. Like I've been listening to it on repeat. Like it's just so calming and relaxing and I just am obsessed with it. So honestly. Thank you. Yeah. Well, listen, we artists inspire each other, don't they? So <laughs> I, I love, I love my, all my creative brothers and sisters out there in the world. We have a lot to share with each other. And all we're here to do really, aren't we, collectively is raise the global frequency. And by you at 16 doing what you are so passionate about and embodying that and, and showing other people who might want to, you know, go down that path later on. Wow. I, you know, I can do this and everyone, Paulina also has two jobs. <laughs> and, and, and as I am aware is, is very decently well graded when it comes to schoolwork. So, um, you know, it's my sources tell me. Um, <laughs> I wonder who that could be. <laughs> my sources tell me. <laughs> well, like, okay, just to let everyone in on the in, in, in on the joke. Um, we, I, I have a bit of a joke because I'm actually friends with Paulina's mum, and Paulina's mum is her manager as well. So I my call manager, her Christian exactly Christiana. <laughs> her mamager so that's why um when i said my source is tell me well clearly i wonder who was that would be um so yeah look as as someone that's doing all of that you're also treading a a different path and a new path for people walking behind you so it's yeah that's definitely something that i really want like like I love seeing like because currently like I've collabed with a few people who are at my age as well and it's just awesome seeing so many people in this like industry and doing this and having this passion for music already at like a young age as well and then like I'm in a group of um like um people here from Ipswich who are just really local and we're all musos and it's awesome just catching up jamming out a bit and always like brainstorming ideas of way uh, of ways to boost um like the creativity and the music you know scene here in Ipswich so I think it's awesome to have people like that um all around us so that's definitely something that I want to achieve with music as well is to show people guys do what you want you know what I mean like there's no limit this is the life this is the life that we've got but not um, just that you show people at your age as well that you can have a dream have a goal and still work hard yeah? yeah you do I want to point that out to everyone that is watching despite the fact I have a personal relationship um you know with Paulina <laughs> we do know each other outside of doing all of this stuff so 
Um, I am very fortunate to, to know you guys, but I do know you're a very hard worker. So this stuff doesn't just come, you know, by, by sitting around idly or expecting others to do it. You're very fortunate. You've got a very fantastic manager. I know that. My, my, um, my manager is. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be here without her, honestly. But that's I know, but you also <laughs> are the one as, as we've, discussed with you um you're the one that's actually you know doing the singing and expressing your words so that's what's so beautiful to see didn't you recently as i uh know it to be have one of your songs used in a very special way yes so my song's actually featured or it's been featured in um in a movie so it's super 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 exciting girlfriend you made it to the preview <laughs> Oh, yeah, so we'll, we're going to cut to that now. Now. <laughs> now. Maybe now. Not sure. How about now? <laughs> now? Falling in Slow Motion is a story about two people that both have experienced pain and they're both going through loss and they find each other through a twist of fate and let their walls down and fall in love. I've always had so much support from Ipswich Council, from all the local businesses here. All the business owners are so passionate and they all really love Ipswich and the community that we have here. So bringing us all together to make a project um, is wonderful. I am just unbelievably excited to do this because um, I've never been, my song has never been in a movie before and I feel like this is such a one in a lifetime kind of experience and just like a whole nother thing to jump into and a whole just world I haven't like been in before and just the exposure as well is awesome and to be a part of something like this is just amazing. Um, so my song Insane is basically about being driven insane by a person and I guess knowing that you can't be with them for some reason or because of them and just having them there the whole time, whether it's in person or just like seeing them on social media, etc, etc. Um, just knowing that they're there and that you can't have them. I genuinely think that this song just relates so much to the storyline of this movie and honestly just think it was meant to be. I mean, how more perfect can it be? <laughs> I honestly believe that this is something that the audiences are going to see and are going to be able to see something different, something fresh, something that's exciting. Um, but also, it's going to hit you here. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, Sarah's story is just something that you could write a book on, you know what I mean? But instead we're making a film and, and I'm really glad we are. To be able to bring uh, Sarah's story to life is uh, something that I'm truly humbled to be given the opportunity for, uh, to be entrusted in such a, a, a personal process. Um, so I think we're all really excited to do, uh, do uh, uh, falling in slow motion justice um, because all really want uh, this, uh, this story to be told. I think if you have people around you that love you and support you and they don't let you fall too deep, um, you really can achieve anything. And so for me, making this project, um, it gives me a sense of purpose and direction and it makes me feel, it just brings me a lot of joy and when I'm doing something that makes me happy, the illness takes a back step. And I am Sarah the writer, Sarah the producer, Sarah the actor, not Sarah the patient. Um, Sarah the person that needs taken care of. And it's very uh, empowering and exciting and it means a lot to me. So yeah, it's been awesome being a part of this movie and having my um, music put into it. Like honestly, um, Sarah, who actually directed the movie and is directing at the moment, it's still being made um, just because of COVID and everything, which really sucked. But hey, what can we do? <laughs> All right. Um, but it's been it's been awesome being a part of it, especially because the movie centered around this. I can't quite like it's a really hard name to pronounce, but it's about this rare disability and like it's a certain arthritis disability, which is 
really saddening to hear. And um, actually the director, Sarah, has it. So um, I thought it was so beautiful that she really based this, um, the short film about this disability and really made it into something super, super beautiful. Like she told me the storyline, which I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share anything, but um, just the way she put it into that was just honestly amazing. So I think it's so awesome that they're doing something like that and coming from a local community as well, which is being funded by um, people who are sending in donations and by BMAC and everything. It's, it's just awesome to see how the community is really coming together. So it's, it's amazing. That, that, I'm so excited. And do you know when that will be coming? Do we know when it's coming out yet or? I'm not too sure at the moment. I think it'll be end of 2021 or. Okay, so something to look forward to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, keep yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep Put a nice <laughs> cap on 2021, hey? <laughs> yeah. um, okay, cool. Wow. So um, what else do you have coming up on your little music agenda, Miss Paulina? So currently working on my fourth release, which will be coming out in actually on Valentine's Day. And you guys are the first people to hear about this. So oh, <laughs> exclusive. Uh, C5, yeah. one of the five. Of course, we're going to get an exclusive. How fantastic. So February 14, 2021 is what? Sorry, clarify that again. Lonely Drive. So I am. The song? Yeah, yeah, the song. It's okay. Yeah, sorry, guys. That's so cool. And will that yeah. be on all the same places you're, you're distributing exactly. everything out? Oh, exactly, right. yeah. It'll be on all platforms. And um, yeah, what made this song really special is that um, I actually am currently so working with an independent, like I'm in the talks and uh, actually they, so an independent record label in London, Animal Farm, they actually produced this song. So it was an awesome experience um, doing that with them overseas. I mean, on the other side of the world. And um, yeah, super, super exciting. And yeah, it was just so cool. <laughs> Wow, that's so cool. Um, can I trouble you to play us a bit of Lonely Drive? Because <laughs> that's some really exciting exclusive news. And I, I, I mean, look, let's be honest, I've heard some, but I would love for everyone to hear some of Lonely Drive. I'll play for you guys. Yes. All right, so this is a little part of the acoustic version of Lonely Drives. Go for lonely drives on silver summers. Wait for the cold breaks to take my breath away. I go for lonely drives, usually leave at midnight. Feels like I can feel. You like a little acoustic Adele. <laughs> no, it's like if, if I'm looking at Taylor Swift, but I'm listening to Adele, but I'm hearing Sean Mendes with the guitar. So what a combo. What a little powerhouse you're going to be. What inspired Lonely Drive? That's a good question. Uh, so it was basically, it was during COVID I wrote this one. And I, it just kind of, it was like literally like 11 o'clock at night. Like I was on the verge of like falling asleep and I just kind of whipped out the guitar and felt like writing something. And um, basically the song is literally it going on, going on lonely drives, even though I know I can't drive yet. Like, I mean, not like, I don't have my peas yet. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I can imagine that lonely drives are pretty cool. But um, it was kind of like it was this point during COVID where it was like kind of, you know, however, I feel like everyone can probably relate that it was like there was a point where like I'm over the people that I'm in this house with. I'm over what's yeah. going on. I just want to be me, let go of everything. And, yeah, that's basically what Lonely Drives is about, just being myself in the moment, in that car, driving wet, 
whatever the heck I want to. And yeah. Yes. Well, I, I love that you shared your process of how that, you know, came to you because I've actually, we've, we've been in the same space recently where we, uh, myself, you and your mum, and, and we, we were just coming, well, you started with your little base of song and then we were just plucking mm -hmm. lyrics, it seems. Um, and and, and it, it's, I think sometimes people think it's a bit harder than it needs to be. Um, it's so just, it's just what flows. It just it, what well, I was going to say, what's been your experience with, you know, your journey with writing a song? Were you always as uh, able to just spit out the lyrics? Does it just come in one go? How does it happen for you all the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at the start, I so I actually started my songwriting journey back in um, August of 2019 and I actually started in this program and it was like a 10-week program. It was like an iHeart Songwriting Club and it was pretty cool. Every week we had like a topic and we had to write a song about it in an hour. So that was awesome for my creativity just come out, really just um, really just get into songwriting, get push me out of my comfort zone, et cetera, et cetera, and it was great. Like I really got into songwriting and loved it since then um but that kind of the method of writing kind of changed for me over like the past year so um basically now it's honestly like it's when I'm like either when I'm kind of sad and I just want to release those emotions and just get them out of me I feel like it's a really healthy way for me to kind of um just soak with my feelings and then be able to let them go so wow. I think I'm really grateful to have this so yeah but yeah, just kind of like you said, and like I said before, like it just flows and it's just what happens, what comes out of my mouth. I always have like a little voice memo on and then just kind of sing whatever and then fine tune it from there. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. But I love that, you you know, you're just, you're so inspired to create on so many different levels because you are involved in every single step of the process, of course, you know, right, right with the, right down to the people you work with, obviously for your film clips and stuff. So it's very inspiring to see. Um, can I trouble you? Oh, oh I'm, I'm going to push my luck and see if I can get a, a third little snippet of, of what we worked on together so we can show everyone because I, I personally might be biased, but I would really love it if you would, you know, release it officially one day. <laughs> that will definitely be my favourite release ever. Ah! I am obsessed with this song. It's just everything I love is just. Have you actually finished it yet, out of curiosity? I actually, I have to last a little bit to do because okay, I... Okay, so it's almost there. Okay, exciting. So uh, there's a few songs that I've been, like, kind of jumping through, but um, I'm... Taking. <laughs> That's one of my problems as a songwriter. I just like to do it and then it's like, okay, bye. <laughs> exactly, right. Well, there's, you know, I've seen that with other musicians out there in the community. They're very much the same. It's very fleeting. You kind of write it, you work on it, you do it, and bye, next. What's next? Um, Even though it's not done and it's like, what do I feel now, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so I'm going to get you to. Um, so yeah, I'm yet to decide on a name for this one, but, uh, <laughs> um, I'll play a little bit. How part. exciting, exclusive. Yeah. Right. And I pray, oh, I pray that I don't have to leave. I just want to stay here for eternity. I see the I in all, I see the me in you. I want my soul to grow up. I see the I in all, I see the me in you. But the world will know I make a Cause you don't know all of me You don't even know my name The universe makes me wonder if you could feel the same mm -hmm. 
That was fantastic. I can't wait to hear it once you finish it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm super excited. That'll definitely hopefully be something in 2022 because another little like exclusive here, but I know you totally saw it here first. Don't you dare forget it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys might see that um in the next Rise and Shine. <laughs> we made it we made it we got it in there sister we, <laughs> we got it in there um so what what else tell us what what have you where can people find you we're gonna wrap up this podcast for this week it's been oh well this week what did i <laughs> i am not doing one a week hell no sisters um not this week we're wrapping up this podcast for this month rather here on purple flame with our special guest paulina and paulina where can where can we find you tell us everything yeah, so basically um just you know so um search up my website which is www.paulina.com.au sorry i had a little um <laughs> and yeah you can always check out all my social medias are on my page um all my upcoming gigs are listed there so you can check that out because next year you know covid's really easing here so um there's lots of upcoming gigs soon oh, so stay tuned in the <laughs> but yeah basically you can find me there everything about me is on that website so yeah and i'd love to hear from you guys if you guys ever want to chat or anything i'm so down like i love meeting and talking yes to you. and also is there anything else that you want to share with everyone before we go yeah um one thing that i really enjoyed um kind of seeing the last few weeks is seeing like the change um in kind of the things that i write about so i know like in the past year it's been a lot of like depressing stuff get it out sister let it out <laughs> exactly. but um yeah that's one thing that i'm really enjoying at the moment like um the song that we like kind of like that you helped me with and like honestly I say that we I couldn't say I helped I think you inspired <laughs> my intuition but I think but I think you me and mum wrote this song wrote, well, I think well, this is our song <laughs> well I'll give you I'll give you my royalties account number if that's the case. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but yeah one thing that I really like like love to see is that um you know, that it's kind of changed from this, like, depressing stuff. Just some more things that I really love. Like a, like, a major part of this song is about the universe and how things are meant to happen when. And a lot of my other songs are more upbeat and about, you know, love and good things about life. So I really like seeing this kind of change in, um, you know, emotional writing. So um, I think it also kind of reflects that I'm kind of improving, just like being more positive. And I think that also has a lot to do with that. I've been meditating a lot lately and, you know, Ooh. yoga and everything. So honestly, that kind of stuff really makes a difference. So I've really been enjoying writing. Just, yeah. Yeah. How <laughs> exciting. Well, Paulina, you are such an inspiration. I don't call you my little sister for no reason. Um, <laughs> I feel so blessed to be able to share you with everyone. And of course, I know this will be going up on um, some of your platforms as well. But aside from that, thank you so much for coming to uh, another Purple Flame podcast with me and the tribe. But thank you for being a guest. Thank you for having me. Honestly, I always love chatting to you, whether it's in a podcast or in person or over the phone. But seriously, <laughs> <laughs> but I really appreciate you having me today. Seriously, uh, it makes me so happy. So thank oh, you. I will love you too. And yes. Q outro. Mm. Oh wait, I did that the wrong side. Q outro. Wait, what if that's also the wrong side? We'll just do both. Q
just been wondering how you are It's like footsteps going around my mind And oh This time And you say How you look into her eyes Wish they want hers but mine Do you remember the days we were in love? Was I the only one who felt that? This time And you say that Just stay right